Hey, welcome to Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Let's get started. Hi guys, this is Rob from uh, Outdoor Travel Channel and today I want to talk about Arizona Living again. Uh, this is kind of part three from a video that actually started last year. I wanted to talk about our cars. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things you'll discover when you move down here is you will go through tires and batteries. Um, the, heat, the heat is just tough on them. Uh, I've definitely go through tires faster with my truck and I, uh, uh, if your batteries are getting kind of weak and stuff this hot weather will kill them quick. So if you move down here from like the northwest and you have weak batteries or, or your tires are a little worn this warm weather will take them the rest of the way <laughs> I'm telling you. So uh, make sure you have good tires and good batteries when you come down here. And uh, typically, uh, I don't have it right now because I park my truck in backwards because the sun's behind me, behind the house. And uh, so typically people have a, uh, uh, a cover in their windshield and sometimes they'll uh, also uh, have driving gloves or something on their steering wheel because it gets really hot. You don't want to put anything precious on your dashboard. It will melt. <laughs> and people have been told that you can cook cookies in your truck if, or in your car if you really wanted to. That's one way to make your car smell real good, right? And uh, I'm fortunate. I live across from a uh, golf course. And so it's pretty quiet here. I have a wonderful neighborhood. But uh, you don't see people outside a lot. And here I'll go right here and let you see is uh you know it gets it gets warm it's going to get a lot warmer and this is the uh, end of april and uh it will be abandoned out here a lot because of the hot weather but uh, uh typically this is what neighborhoods look like everybody has concrete walls um for privacy and it helps keep things cool and you'll notice a lot of us you won't see grass very often i mean of course you saw it here behind me at the golf course but in our yards why well, have grass I love that part I hate mowing lawns <laughs> and the, so typically uh, a lot of people have some we always have flowers um, typically we uh, most people have a watering system so uh, all my plants here are watered in the evenings and I do have cactus and I have all kinds of real pretty plants back here well, up here <laughs> in the front and uh, I love this my front yard it's really nice I get little baby rabbits out here every night Sherry gives them uh, carrots and we get quail we get all kinds of critters we don't see any bad critters I've never seen a snake I've never seen a black widow I've never seen a scorpion uh, depends on where you live in Arizona if you see a lot of those I've never seen a uh, uh, you know just anything that's yucky <laughs> So, uh, but you also got to make sure you maintain your property. Don't leave things laying around on the side of the house, and and uh, you'll be in good shape. So, uh, yeah. But uh, there's always flowers. There's flowers all the time, year round, one way or another. There's some kind of flowers, and uh, my tree is actually just now starting to uh, fill out and, and get all pretty. And these are going to bloom here pretty soon, right here. I'm not sure what kind of plant that is, but. Uh, yeah, we got some really cool stuff. In fact, let me show you my favorite little plant. They're kind of like called a uh, fairy tail something. In fact, they just scared a little, and they're they're like flies, <laughs> and they're so pretty. And uh, this one's a newer one, and uh, it's pink. Look at this one. Look how pretty this is. Isn't that pretty? Like feels like hair. Anyway, um, and then there, these plants over here have little purple flowers. I get flowers all the time. I also have a cactus over here that's blooming, and then it actually blooms in the morning and closes up at nighttime. So, yeah. And I have a watering system for all these flowers in here. And uh, yeah, it's just fun. Uh, I have a uh, landscaper coming in to kind of trim everything up here. It's time to trim everything. And that's a. Uh, that's what we do. It'll cost me about $90. <laughs> I've got a bird or something running around under here. Um, but uh, another concern you want to always be careful of is coyotes. And uh, 
the coyotes, since we're kind of in Mesa towards the edge, uh, they'll travel through the golf courses and stuff, so you don't want to have an outdoor cat. Um, and you could have some problems. Once again, everybody's houses are made of stucco uh, to help keep our houses cool. Our houses don't do that good in the winter for keeping warm. They're actually designed to stay cool. So uh, uh, the other thing you'll probably find interesting is when I first moved here, I uh, I used to uh, keep the house like, oh, 70 degrees, 72 degrees, because I was used to the cool weather. Well, now, after a year, we keep the temperature of the house at 78. <laughs> How'd you like to have your house at 78 degrees? It does, it, it, it's, I guess we're climatized. So, yeah, not unusual. Um, the other thing you'll always find that happens at everybody's houses is just, we have a lot of lizards. So, you know, at nighttime, if you got your outdoor lights here, I've always got like a little lizard living under the light here. <laughs> and in fact, I got two albino lizards that come out. So they're kind of like our pets. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and that's how it works. So I thought I'd tell you just a little bit about people's yards. Uh, typically, you don't see grass that often. A lot of flowers, always flowers. Uh, we have a wonderful neighborhood and a lot. A lot of people you'll see, if you look at the houses behind me, everybody has the concrete fencing. And you say, wow, nobody has open yards. Well, I tell you, you've seen my backyard in my other videos. It feels private. You have privacy. You feel like you have your own little oasis. And uh, the funny thing is people move from here to other places, they wonder, gosh, nobody has fences. And so you don't feel like you have privacy. So, yeah, to each his own. So uh, I hope that was a nice little update for you, um, what it's like to have a yard. Uh, typically front yards are easy to maintain. We don't make them very sophisticated. Uh, we try to use a lot of the desert plants here. Um, and uh, typically the only thing we deal with is maybe a little bit of leaves from our trees and, uh, and trimming things like a lot of my plants need trimmed and they'll be trimmed next week. And uh, that's all I do for my front yard. And typically that's what everybody does in their yards is uh, keep them simple and use native plants. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that and please join us in our next videos. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, thanks for joining us at Outdoor Travel Channel and Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Take care now. Bye.